For what purpose does the gentleman from Georgia rise? I'd like to strike the next word. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. I think this amendment is very, very ill-advised. Uh, storage and handling fees are an integral part of the peanut program and the cotton program. A removal of these fees will strike against the growers, the farmers' bottom line. Uh, the current marketing loan rate is $355 per ton. There has been no increase in the peanut loan rate, which is the safety net, since the 2002 Farm Bill. Uh, with the new Farm Bill uh, expected to take place next year, it's unfair for the program to change dramatically in this final year of the 2008 Farm Bill. Peanut growers changed their program from a supply management program in 2002 to a market and loan program. We eliminated the old quota system. This included a price reduction from $610 per ton to $355 per ton, market and loan. The growers will lose even more if the program suffers another $50 per ton reduction due to the elimination of the storage and handling fees. Peanuts are a semi-perishable commodity. Uh, this is different from corn, from wheat, uh, and other commodities. It is economically unfeasible for producers to store their peanuts on the farm like other commodities, such as corn and wheat. Uh, peanuts need a secure and an atmospheric controlled environment. Peanuts require intense and constant management in the warehouse storage, which a farmer does not have the skills to do. Without proper management, a farmer's peanuts could go from what is known as a SEG-1 loan price, which is the best, to a SEG-3 loan price, which is contamination uh, due to aflatoxin. Elimination of the storage, uh, the, uh, uh, storage and handling program uh, could certainly impact food safety, the safety of the product. Now, the shellers basically control 75 percent of the peanuts after the peanuts leave the farmer's control. Since the peanuts are semi-perishable and due to the highly concentrated shelling industry, farmers are at the mercy of shellers in terms of pricing. Uh, shellers could possibly force the farmer to have to accept a lower price that will cover the storage and handling costs. The farmer then has no alternative in selling the peanuts. That eliminates the competitive edge. Uh, this could effectively lower the loan rate to producers, uh, as I said, by $50 a ton. Uh, the storage and handling program has effectively been a no net cost program to the government. Thus, the elimination of it will not help to reduce the federal deficit. Again, we are here about to pull the rug out from under farmers who have relied upon what this Congress and what this government has done in setting farm policy starting for 2008 to 2012. Why would we come at this point and pull the rug out from under them upset all of the plans. Many times they have made loans, they've had to purchase equipment, and particularly throughout the Southeast, the equipment that is required for Southeastern peanut uh, growers uh, and Southeastern farmers uh, is varied. We've got a broad portfolio, unlike the Midwest. Uh, we grow multiple crops. So if in the southeast from Virginia all the way to Texas, uh, you will find that, that farmers will grow corn, they will grow grain, of course, they'll grow peanuts, they'll grow soybeans, uh, and they'll grow cotton. Each of those commodities at least will require three different kinds of equipment. And the combines and the equipment for cotton uh, costs, you know, anywhere from two hundred and fifty to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Other equipment for peanuts, uh, for grain, $150,000, $500,000. This is going to undermine the bottom line. It's going to remove the competitive edge that American peanut growers have, and it's going to devastate 
our ability to maintain uh, the highest quality, the safest, uh, the most economical uh, peanuts anywhere in the world. So I think this is very, very ill-advised. I think it will undermine American agriculture. It will lessen our food security, and certainly that is the last thing that we need to do uh, because we're already energy insecure. I yield back the balance of my time.